you guys another backyard vlog from me because that's pretty much all I have time for these days it seems like. So excuse the road noise and probably the neighbor's dogs barking some too because they love to come up to this fence and bark at me. But this is the only shade at this time of day. So yeah, life with three under three is hectic, fun, and stressful at times. It's definitely not all sunshine and rainbows over here. We've had some very, very rough days at my house lately. But I am learning patience and how to deal with it and just getting by as much as I can. It's all in all, it's not terrible, but I can't say I don't have bad days. Today is obviously a good day since I'm doing this. So, um, the boys are playing. I've got Nora here in my lap. And I'm going to try to just talk about our life a little bit lately. She is not the best sleeper, although the past two nights have probably been our best. I think when I did my two-week postpartum update, she was sleeping better than she has been lately. Lately, two hours is the maximum stretch she's been having. But last night, she slept for four hours in her cradle and the rest of the night in bed with us. Um, I've been trying to start the first stretch in her cradle, whether it's 10 minutes, two hours, or whatever. But last night, four hour stretch, which was amazing. We have not had a stretch like that since, you know, she was very, very new. So that's great. Um, but generally, I have not been getting very much sleep. And to top it all off, I have cut out coffee because it was really, really affecting her. And so that may be, um, why she's starting to have better nights now is less caffeine in her poor little system but i realized that i was um i you know, usually drink like a cup in the morning but i had started drinking it throughout the day having an iced coffee in the afternoon refilling my iced coffee and i was having a ton of coffee so that wasn't good for me and definitely wasn't good for her this morning i had a small cup of just plain black coffee and it's been a week since i had coffee i think maybe one cup in the morning is not going to be too much. Nora is almost 12 pounds-ish. That's from a rough uh, scale of me getting on the scale with, with and without her, you know, kind of. So not, nothing super accurate, but she's close to 12 pounds. She's definitely a little chunker. You should see her thighs, oh my goodness, and her cheeks and chins for days. Uh, she nurses and uh, as far as me and my weight loss goes I am down I'll just share numbers because I don't really care uh, and then I want to look back at the, on this for myself so I can remember I am at about 152 and I think I was at 175 when she was born and um, I was not down to my pre-pregnancy weight from Wyatt when I she was conceived because um, they're, they're only uh, 16 months apart, so I wasn't that far postpartum yet. I still had a few weight pounds to go. My goal weight is 135. Hey, buddy! My goal weight is 135, so I'm at 152 right now. And um, I've set very easy goals for myself, I feel like. My goal is to get below 150 by Christmas. So at this point, it's only two pounds, and I feel like that should be pretty easy. Um, I was, I was a little higher than that when I made that goal, but I lost two pounds pretty quickly. Um, so below 150 by Christmas, and then after that, I want to hit my goal weight by the boy's birthday, which is May 14th. So that is by that point, it should be less than a pound a week, and I feel like that's really, really doable. Um, I just don't want to set goals for myself to lose weight around the holidays, because I'm not one to deny myself holiday treats. It's one of my favorite times of the year. I love to bake, I love to make sweets, and I plan on eating them and enjoying them. Just uh, making better choices when I can. I knew that postpartum I would not be able to fully do all my house chores the way I had been before. That is probably what I'm struggling with the most, is just kind of accepting the things I can't get to. Like dishes, there's always dirty dishes and there's always dirty clothes. I can't seem to get them all done. Um, I made the analogy to my mother about the laundry is like fighting a wildfire. You, you know, you fight and fight and you get some done, you get some put out, you know, and then it pops up everywhere else and it crops up all over the house and then you get that down to just wear it a little bit and then, you know, so anyways, the laundry is definitely a, um, it's driving me insane that I can't get my laundry done, I'll be honest. Um, nursing is still going really well for us. 
this. I, like I said, I cut out coffee, and just I've, now I've decided to also try to limit my dairy. I um, she's a little congested, and I've never had a problem with babies and dairy, but I think I've just been having too much. So I'm gonna try to cut it out for a few days, and then limit my intake from then. I had some ice cream last night and a glass of milk yesterday afternoon with a brownie, so you know, that's not the best for her. Uh, she it has just awful cradle cap. I put coconut oil on it and kind of lightly, lightly scrub her head when she give her a bath, but it keeps coming back, so we're going to keep dealing with that. Her skin was terrible there for a while. and starting to clear up now, but um, we kind of sweat on each other at nap time today, so she's broken out a little bit again. But I realized in my two-week postpartum video, I didn't even show this sweet girl. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen plenty of Nora. But if not, here she is outside watching her brothers play. She's starting to coo and smile a little bit. She's definitely our crankiest baby yet. She's very particular. She prefers to be held just about 24-7. Um, which generally I don't mind until I'm trying to get something done. Um, I've been wearing her for her morning nap and trying to do some things then. Otherwise, she just sits in her bouncy seat a few minutes at a time and I try to get stuff done when I can. I know that it will get better with time and she will, you know, go through less clothes and less blankets and it will also help when I can get all our summer and spring clothes put away because right now we have two seasons worth of clothes out for us and the boys and for, well, she, all her clothes are out, you know. So hopefully, um, once I can get all the spring clothes put away, that will get better too. But like I said, it's 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 so early. It's so early. They call it the fourth trimester for a reason. We're only a month and a half in, so. And this poor girl gets hiccups worse than anybody. Oh my goodness, always a hiccup. We took her to a wedding about an hour, a little over an hour away a couple weeks ago. Um, and she did pretty great for that. There was some screaming in the car. But it was really nice to kind of get away with just her and my husband, the boys, stay with someone from church. And just, you know, having one with you is a way less than having the other two. Plus, she doesn't talk nearly as much as they do. And so that went pretty well. We are going to my parents' house soon, which is about a three and a half hour drive. So that will be interesting. We're already planning on stopping whenever we need to and not being in a rush to get down there. Not being in a hurry is one of the biggest keys that I have come across when it comes to having three, three and under, because someone is always crying, someone always needs something. So you've got to be able to stop what you're doing and, you know, be okay with not doing it right then. Um, getting out of the house definitely takes longer, but not terrible. We've been doing pretty okay with that. Um, we don't have a ton of places to go, so we're usually not in a hurry to get out. The only time we really have to be there by a certain time would be if we're going to story time, which is at 10.30 in the morning, or church, which we have to leave the house by 8.30 for that. So, um, but we haven't been the past two Sundays because my husband's been working. And I'm definitely not ready to go to church by myself. I'm not trying to uh, stress myself out like that. As far as YouTube goes, I have filmed a couple of things that I would really like to share, but it's hard to find the time to edit. I'm really going to try to edit this tonight and get it up. I was going to do a one-shot thing, but it definitely did not work that way. Not with these little ones out here. Hey! Um, I have I filmed our uh, freezer stash, the stuff, I've, the stuff I made um, before Nora was born. And I think I sound pretty crazy and sleep-deprived in that video. Um, but I can't refilm it because we've already eaten all the food, so we'll just, it is what it is. I also filmed a crock pot recipe I like to share. I definitely have more things I would like to film and share just when I find the time. Uh, last week I got my hair cut and I got contacts, but my eyes are just still not ready for contacts. Um, I can't wear them when I'm pregnant because my eyes are too dry and they're just kind of not ready yet for that. But she is getting pretty fussy. I'm going to go ahead and nurse her back here and enjoy the boys playing. It's been raining for about five days now. It's the first sun we've seen. So it's nice to get out of the house and play for a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, go ahead and click subscribe. I promise, I promise I'll have more videos up soon. See you later. Bye.